Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can use just Amazon to do your keyword research. You're gonna to want to stick around for this one. So if you haven't been here before, my name is Rory and I run this channel called Mr. Rosa. And before we get into anything, can I just ask you guys to hit that like and subscribe button as it would be greatly, greatly appreciated and doesn't take you half a second to do. Now, there is many, many great keyword research tools out there. I've gone through many. You've got ones like Helium 10, you've got BookBolt, you've got Publisher Rocket. There's loads. But is there a way of just using Amazon itself to do your keyword research? Using nothing else completely for free, maybe a plugin, say, just, just to help out with extra searches. Just that. Can you do your research? Well, we're going to find out in today's video and I'll give you the short answer now. You can and it can be a very powerful way because, well, if you think about it, you're using Amazon directly to do your keyword research. So when you're coming up with these results, well, they will be accurate because Amazon is where you're going to be publishing your book and you'll be getting the most accurate results. So, yeah, I think this is a good way if you're starting out you don't want, or you don't want to spend any money or even if you're advanced, it's still a very good way of doing keyword research because you're using Amazon itself. You're using the market where you're selling your product itself. So, yeah, you can't be using it. And, well, let's get into it. Now, we're in Amazon at the moment and let's just do the colouring book niche because it's just a one we can use. It's a very good example for a niche to get into. Now, if we've got colouring book here, so I'll just start again and type it in. Now, what we're going to be using in Amazon to get our keywords is, well, this thing here. All these search terms that are coming up now, that's what we're going to be using for our keyword research. Now, as you can see, when we type in colouring book, well, there is lists of lots of stuff. And I would just like to add slightly, I use AMZ Suggestion Expander to give these five extra rows of keywords that we could use. And it's really, really powerful. I'll leave the link to it in the description below. But yeah, it's really, really powerful. Just giving more keywords, suggesting more keywords that could be using. These are phrases that people have been searching up and are popular. Now, when we type in colouring book, the first one that comes up is colouring books for adults, then colouring books for kids ages four to eight, colouring books, and it's, you see it goes down like that. Now I'd like to add, the one that is at the top is, well, the most popular. That is the most popular one, that is the one being searched for the most, and well, maybe has a t top selling books in it. So colouring books for adults, that'd be one of the best colouring book niches, but it means that there's probably a lot of results when you search for that because it shows that there's a lot of people searching for that phrase colouring books for adults. And well, we can guarantee that by if we just click on it, there's over 40,000 results, which obviously does not meet our criteria of a thousand results, which is what we are looking for. So let me just type in colouring book again. And yet, yeah, one thing as well with Amazon, when you type in the phrase different times it will come up with different ones as first it's just the way amazon works there's nothing really you can do about it but it's not massively important it doesn't make a huge difference because well the ones that are coming up first they'll be the most popular ones and it can change depending on whether you put a space in see if i add a space coloring book for adults is now the top one coloring books has a different one but basically all you've got to know is that the top one that comes up well it's going to be a very popular one and it's going to be a niche that is possibly hard to get into but anyway we've got coloring book there as you can see yep yeah, there's lists and lists of this stuff using ahem's suggestion expander we get lists and lists of this stuff and now what i do is start off with i'll just take a screenshot of all those keywords there which we can go over so to do a screenshot on mac it's shift command 4 brings up this tool and well I'll just take a screenshot of all these keywords it's fine we missed out the last few we've got a lot there anyway and we'll just take a screenshot of those and we've taken that screenshot and we'll save that for later and we'll use that later in this video so yeah so we've got all those keywords and now like I said those are going to be difficult ones to be getting into but it gives us an idea of what books people are searching for and here comes a small trick so what you can do if you're looking for a particular niche to be getting into, because obviously colouring book, you're not going to sell a colouring book if it's just titled colouring book. If you do, I'm sure it'd be a best-selling book because, well, the colouring book niche is very, very difficult. But what you can do is, well, if you look at these, there's a lot of just like for kids, for adults, for teens, for women, for kids ages two to four, 
for girls, all that sort of stuff. Well, can we target those sorts of niches? Can we target the ones that maybe aren't as popular at the moment, yet we can still make sales out of it? And we'll just get those few sales to get us higher up in those other sort of niches in like the broad coloring book niche. So what I like to do, okay, so I'm just gonna type in coloring book four. Then as you see, again, we've got a list here. So obviously the most popular one being coloring book for adults, then for girls, for teens, for kids, for boys, and we'll take another screenshot of that stuff. And well, you don't have to take a screenshot of this stuff. If you would prefer, you could write it down on a Word document, on just any sort of online document, or you could just write it down on a pen and paper. If that's something you prefer, that's totally fine. Just screenshotting is a thing I like to use. I find it speeds up the process. And obviously, yeah, like I said, we've got all of those, and those are all popular ones that people are searching for. Then. Here it comes. So what you can do is then you can go through the alphabet. Let's start with A, coloring book for A, and then it comes up with a bunch of popular ones. So coloring book for adults, coloring book for adults women, coloring book for adults dress relieving designs, coloring book for adults animals, and there's loads and loads here. And then, well, what you would then do is go through each one. So let's go for coloring book for anxiety. 2000 results doesn't meet our criteria. We'll leave that. Type in again, colouring book for A, and then let's pick a different one. Colouring book for adults, easy, 50,000 results. Again, leave that. We're looking for those 1,000 results. Colouring book for A for adults, nature, 40,000. Again, not so good. Colouring book for anatomy and physiology, 1,000 results. And well, if you have a look at the couple of books here, 907 in books, 3,253 in books, 169,000 in books. Well, that tells us there's getting a lot of sales out of it. So then what I'm gonna do, well, that's obviously a phrase I would use. So then I would open a Google Doc. I don't have Word, so I just use Google Docs. All you gotta type in is Google Docs. Just click Google Doc and then open a blank new page. And then what I would do is get that phrase that we had, coloring book for anatomy and physiology, copy that, and just paste it. And there's a phrase that we could use, that's a niche we could get into. And then we would use those keywords in like the title and the subtitle. So once we've done A, well, you can guess what we're gonna do next. We're gonna move on to B. So coloring book for B, then you've got a load here. And you just go through all of these. Coloring book for babies, 20,000 results, not gonna use that. What, what else is there? Coloring book for big kids. Click that, 60,000 results. Not gonna use that. And this is just basically a trial and error method because, well, obviously it's free. It may take a bit more time, but we are getting accurate results. We're getting the results straight from Amazon on, well, how many results there are. And, well, maybe B isn't one, because to me, all of those keywords look quite difficult. And we can use Amazon Suggestion Expander here to, well, have a look at any. So coloring book for boys, nine to 12. 20,000 results, and well, it looks like to me, B isn't one that has any good keywords. So, we've done B, then we move on to C, coloring book for college students, 1,000 results, okay. And well, there's a few books here, another anatomy one, so already we're building like, possibly a couple of niche we could get into with that anatomy coloring book, because well, college students, anatomy, people that are taking anatomy in college, there, You've added two niches together into one coloring book. And well, that looks like a niche you could get into. And this book is 907 in books. So that's telling us that it sells. And you can see all of these ones that are using coloring book for college students in their phrases, because well, these are the books that are showing up. And that is definitely one I would use. So coloring book for college students, we copy that and we paste it in our Google doc. And you can guess what we're gonna do next. So you can literally go through the alphabet, coloring book for D, there you go, coloring book for dementia, coloring book for E, coloring book for elderly, or engineers, what's coloring book for engineers? Engineer life, a snarky relatable and humorous adult coloring book. Well, it's very like narrowed down niche, 280 results. Yeah, there's a book that's making sales, 187,000 in books with 29 reviews. So it does make sales. We're gonna copy that as well. And really, this is a really simple yet powerful way of doing keyword research. So E, F, G, H, I. It's so powerful and it's so easy to do this. It's just a method that I used when I first started out 
and well, I, d I don't have the money to pay for places like Helium 10 which find all the keywords for you, you just go through the alphabet in these different niches and find books that sell and it is what I did at first and well it did make me sales in the end because I found a niche that was selling books and well I put my books in there and it did make sales. So yeah you can use Amazon for that to do well your keyword research and you can also gain keywords from other authors so like if I just type in for kids ages four to eight let's find one so this unicorn coloring book here that hasn't got very good keywords in it so we're not going to look at that one that's not a good example I mean something like this if you're looking to create a space coloring book for kids well you could look at these keywords and gain ideas off of that almost like copy the keywords it's usually not don't copy it word for word just take a few ideas from it, put it in your own books, that sort of thing. And if we go to, well, our colouring book for anatomy again, anatomy and physiology, well, what we can do is, have we got any books here that we can have a look at? So we could obviously take a few ideas from this, like the human body colouring book, see if that's a good niche, the human body colouring book, 350 results. So that is, again, something we could use possibly in our seven keyword boxes, our subtitle, our title, whatever we feel like doing but yeah just the main thing make sure you just don't copy word for word because nobody likes someone that copies and you don't make sales if you copy other people's books we've got a few keywords there and well what i would also put in this google doc that i've created is well i'll go to my recents and the screenshots that i took earlier i will just drag those in as well and they'll put those in and well there you go we can add those screenshots in again adding more ideas make that a bit larger if we have to. And well, it's just a way, a nice way of keeping, if we're targeting one niche, almost making like a storyboard, or what is it called? Like a scrapbook, a scrapbook of all the different keywords and that sort of thing, especially if we're looking at that coloring book niche. I mean, it's a perfect thing to do, just very easy screenshotting the results that come up and putting them in a Google Doc. So yeah, that's my tips on keyword research within Amazon. And then I'm gonna show you just one last step and something that I use to keep my books organized because, well, I feel like it might be interesting to you guys and I'll probably make an in-depth video on it in the future. So I like to use Google Sheets and I like Google Docs, Google Sheets because, well, it's all stored on Google. It's not having to be stored on your computer. It doesn't take up any space and they're very, very easy to use. So I'm going to create a new blank Google Sheets as well. And then what I like to do is where it's A, I'll put title and then B, subtitle C. Well, you gotta go through the boxes and then it'll be description. And then we move on to the seven keyword boxes and then first box, second box. And if this isn't making sense to you at the moment, just hold on a second. I'll show you what I'm talking about in two seconds. So third box all the way up to all seven boxes. And yeah, so this, there's seven keyword boxes, obviously. And then what I like to do is, well, the title that I'm going to be using for my book, I will put underneath that. So let's say I'm creating a colouring book for anatomy and physiology. I'll copy that and I will paste that under the title. So there you have colouring book for anatomy and physiology. Now let's just create a quick subtitle. So colouring book for college students learning anatomy and the human body. Now this is just an example. Obviously I wouldn't recommend going and copying that because I haven't done the keyword research for those few phrases and then just copying that and then pasting that into the subtitle. And then what I then do is then I'd write my description, I'd put it under the description box and then my seven keyword boxes I'll create them all individually each box and I will paste them all in. Now that may be a bit vague for what I've given you, but I will give a more in-depth video in the future. But yeah, it's just a way I like to keep organized. And well, what I will do is I'll have every single one of my books listed on this Google spreadsheet. So then if I make a mistake, anything like that, I'll go back to this spreadsheet. I'll then create, uh, correct it, make sure everything's all right. And well, if I'm creating books in a similar niche, what I can do is then, well, copy some of the boxes and paste them down. And yeah, I just love Google Sheets. It's so easy to use. It keeps everything so organized. And yeah, because when you're creating hundreds and hundreds of books, well, it just keeps it all organized in here and you can have a look at all the title, the subtitle, the description, seven keyword boxes and all the words that you have used. Making sure, again, like I said, if you make any mistakes, you can go back, correct it, copy and paste it, then back into Amazon, that sort of thing. So yeah, that is the end of this video. And well, 
I hope you got something from us. I hope you can go and experiment with this, just Amazon itself, doing keyword research within Amazon itself, because while it is very, very useful and it's free, you can't beat it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, remember hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comments below, because I love reading and replying to every single one of your comments. And whoa, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.